y'all. What's going on this morning? Uh, I'm over here at Iowa 80 and um, got some people that told me yesterday, a couple people I know, and I think another one told, uh, sent me a message last night. So I want to send a warning out to everybody using Calm Data. Uh, I believe Calm Data has been hacked. Uh, there are at least three or four people I know it's already it's been getting got hit. Um, then they're taking charges using it for like nine ninety nine, and then like little little stuff. They're not just making big purchases. Uh, now I've heard somebody got hit with it. I think I'm gonna say three or four months ago, but hit for like two thousand twenty five hundred something like that. And uh, yes, I just woke. Well, hadn't been awake that long. Still drinking the coffee. And I'm putting this in the video that I'm making right now. We're on a trip and we're heading out. But I figured something like this, since this video ain't gonna come out for another two Fridays, I figured that this is something I need to make and go ahead and put out now. Let everybody be aware of. Uh, check your combat card. Uh, a couple times a day, every day. Um, and if you get hacked, uh, now how it's working with Indiana Transport is call Indiana Transport, let them know, they're gonna look at that. I mean, and it's easy to know if you've been hacked, uh, for them to easy to know. Uh, it's gonna take seven, 10 days to get your money back, but they're gonna cancel your card. You're gonna have to go back up there and get another card and all that good stuff. So it sucks if you're on a trip but you need to be aware of it uh because i know for sure they're taking like like i said small amounts where it equals up like i know one yesterday got, or two days ago got hit for 58 one for yesterday got hit for 60 and uh another youtuber sent me some pictures uh uh last night and i sent him a message but he's probably still in bed and I'm thinking he got hit too. Uh, and if I, I'll put it in the next in, in the uh, the video I'm working on now. If he got hit too, for how much? I hope I, I hope if he did, not a lot. But uh, whenever the guy called Indiana Transport, they said that they're having a problem. And but it's like I said, it's easy for them to see. If you're delivering a load and you're in Texas and your card has been used four, five, six times with $9.99 uh, slices on it for California, then they know it wasn't you. So, especially for random stuff. And then um, one of the guys I know, and I'm not going to throw names out there, <clears throat> some of them are YouTube channels. Uh, so if they want to do that, I'll let I'll let them make videos and, and do that. Um, I'm just trying to send out warnings for y'all, for everybody that's out there. If you're just now getting started, if you've been out here, uh, check it. Because like I said, I've <clears throat> been seeing people get hit, and I'm watching mine constantly. Every day, every time I stop, I'm looking on there and make sure there ain't no charges out there. Because little charges equals up, and the next thing you know, they think they got you. And then a big charge hits. So, <clears throat> and that would suck if you just picked a load and you got your fuel money on there to run long, and then somebody takes it off, and you, then it takes you, you're stuck for seven, ten days. I mean, that right there could really screw somebody up. If it's lazy people, won't get your butt up, go get a job, quit trying to steal people from hardworking people, quit trying to steal money from hardworking people. Like I said, still, still drinking on my coffee, y'all. It aggravates me a little bit. But it's something that you gotta be aware of. It's something that's happened. And um, I don't know when they're gonna be able to get it under control. But I do know that um, a guy I talked to last night said he called Indiana. They cut his card off. Uh, but they give him, I guess some numbers or whatever. He, he, they still allow him to transfer stuff to the bank. But he took a load. And I don't know if they put it on a different card and it's giving the numbers or whatever. Uh, so he's got to wait until he gets back Monday. He said he's not going to mess with that. So I don't, if he did, I bet if he decides to use it or do it that way, then I'll, I'll come back on here and let y'all know. 
Um, but he's just going to wait till Monday, then go up there and get his new card. So be aware of it and check it. If Keep up with what you're spending on your combat card if you're hitting stores. And also, uh, that's like one guy I got. Everybody I know so far has been hitting in California. And the one guy, he got one hit, small hit, in Canada. And he ain't been to Canada. So, uh, I don't know exactly what's going on. Hopefully, they, they get it fixed and straightened out. Um, but, just be aware of what you're spending. Be aware of your card. And, also, the apps and everything. It don't matter if you're getting fuel at Love's, Blind J, Pilot, TA, any of them. In the big ones anyway. Uh, Mom and Pops, probably not. But they got the apps on there where you can add your fuel card. And that way when you pull up, use your fuel uh, on your phone. And where you activate like Smart Pump, like at the TA, you'll activate Smart Pump. And then it's going to give you a code. And then put your code in. Now to set up all them for all the truck stops, you can't be like at home. You have to, unless you live real close to a truck stop. But you have to be like within a mile of everything to get everything set up for that. Uh, but it's smart to set that up because all these fake readers and everything everybody's putting on down, you can't really tell. You go over there and you put one, put your card in, and next thing you know they got your number and they're hitting you up for whatever. So to try to save y'all the hassle, I'm hoping I don't get hit. Um, and the other guy riding with me, Tony, um, him, we're headed uh, on a load together. And he's watching his car too. Uh, it's it's kind of crazy you have to worry about this this time of day, but it is what it is. So just be aware, be careful, be safe. See y'all in the next one. Booyah.